everyone, Mamie Kins here. Today I'm going to show you how to get these cute mullies for your room. Collecting them will also unlock achievements, death digger and creatures of the earth. Mullies are a rare endemic life form that appear in the guiding lands. You can collect the regular mullies from any of the spawn points I show you. However, you will need specific locations for the variants and the region level to be level 5 or higher. I've had more luck at level 7 though. If you don't have the region level, you can join someone else's guiding lands who has it leveled. Some people may also be searching for endemic life, but other players may be hunting monsters. So in order not to take up a slot in their room, you can disconnect from the internet. The endemic life is still there, however new monsters will not respawn after leaving the locale. Which can sometimes be a good thing. The number of times I've been caught out by a rajang while wearing gathering gear. Before you head off, be sure to grab some canteen buffs. There is a food called Zoo Master which makes rare endemic life more likely to appear. There's also a daily skill called Feline Biologist, which makes endemic life slightly more likely to appear. Which is a nice bonus if you can get it, but it's random if it shows up or not. The Gilly Mantle is an absolute must. These guys get easily spooked and will even run away while crouching. So you're going to want to have this equipped before approaching the Molies. The Gilly Mantle has quite a long cooldown so equipping tool specialist is nice and if you have the materials for the Lunastra Impress set, you can use that to reduce cooldowns by a massive 50%. There's also some nice quality of life skills you can put in, not at all needed, but nice if you want to do this on the side and a bit of gathering in between checking spots. Binoculars, these can be handy to use to check spots from afar. You can buy these at any of the provision NPCs which sell supplies, for the very low price of 50 zenny. The molies can only be caught when their head is above ground, so make sure you pay close attention especially if it's a rare spawn, otherwise all the molies will run away if you misfire your net. As you can see, the box turns from brown to white depending on the molies position. They also have a very distinct noise, I often hear them before I see them, so if you hear them squeak, freeze and make sure you have the ghillie mantle on. Ok, the first type of molly you can catch is just the regular one, it can be obtained from any of the locations shown and it will refill your canteen ingredients when you catch one. So if you do have a run in with Jang and he beams you back to camp, you can at least get your zoo master buff back. If you want one of these cute mossy mullies, they can be found in the forest biome. There's two locations for them. First one is in area 6 surrounding the herb plant. Second location is in area 7. Crawl under and you should see them near the herb. As you can see here, we have one of the rare mossy mullies. In the wilds far away, you can collect the rare rocky moly. There are two spawn points this guy might appear in. Area 8 near the mite seat. As you can see, I got a little too close and scared them away. They can see you from quite far, I should have used binoculars. Just make sure to aim carefully and when the moly is above ground, or you could end up catching the ants instead. You can collect fluffy mollies in the coral highland biome. There's two possible spawn locations. Area 11, up the vines and in the middle area. Area 10, near the fishing area. I like to climb the vines rather than jumping down as I was worried that it might scare them away. You can collect spiny mollies from the Rotten Vale biome.
first spawn is in area 12 around the ivy plant. These can be pretty hard to see due to the plants and rocks, so make sure you listen for their little squeaks. The second spawn is in area 13 near this devil's blight. Rowdy mollies are from the volcanic biome. The spawn points are in area 14 near this mandragora. and in area 15 near the mite seat. The frost mollies come from the tundra region. There's two spawn points. One in area 16 near the bone pile. These guys are hiding in the ground at the moment as there's wolves nearby. You can either wait for them to move or lure them away. Just make sure you're watching your ghillie mental timer as you don't want to scare them away. The next one is in a corridor between area 16 and 17 near a flash bug. It may take some time to get all the rare ones you want, but I do recommend having zones at level 7 as I just had way better luck. Always carry your ghillie mantle and if you decide to go along with a friend, they can't scare your moly spawns away. The molies are a great addition to your personal room and I can't help but smile every time I see them. I love the fluffy one but also the rowdy one shaking his head. They are so cute. Good luck catching them all, thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.